Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm giving you part 5. Oh god, I lost count again. Yeah, I'm giving you a part. Yeah, it's part 5. Uh, but in this part, we're going to be continuing our plants even further because we've uh, really got, you know, a fair amount of plants here. We've got about 10 or whatever, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, we're going to. Yeah, you know, we're gonna need more in order to get the scene looking, uh, you know, this varied with plants. So, uh, the next plant we're gonna be making is this one here, where it's like this one stem going down the middle and, uh, the leaves sort of coming right out from it. It's quite a simple thing to make, um, but it's, uh, it's time consuming. So, what we're gonna do is, again, just go to a new layer, put our cursor at the center, and, uh, start modeling. So, uh, just like we did with the previous plant, which was this one, we're going to start off with a cylinder in order to make the stem. So, we're going to go uh, add mesh cylinder like that, and we're going to only want five vertices again because, you know, it's quite a you know low poly object that we're trying to make here. Uh, so, yeah, in edit mode. You just press G, Y, and move it up, holding control, so that the origin is directly at the bottom. But, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because we're going to be using particle systems, and that's based on where the origin is. So if the origin is like in the middle of the shape, then the middle of the shape will be the bit where, you know, the spawns out the ground, where we want it to be the bottom or the base, so that it looks realistic. So uh, now we need to make thinner. So I'm going to press uh, S, uh, Shift Z, and then move it in like that and now I'm going to press G Z and move it up okay and also what I'm going to do is add just a few loop cuts not that many there and I'm going to do this just to you know just move them around a bit just get a bit weird because you know stems aren't ever perfectly straight so just adding a bit of variation to it uh, will just help out a bit uh, keep things looking you know don't go over the top just keep them looking sort of relatively smooth okay and yeah that's good now for the leaves now if you've been following this tutorial that you shouldn't really need to be uh, you sh this step shouldn't need to be explained to you but I'm gonna teach you another method to make leaves so that we can sort of cover a few things here so we're gonna add a plane again just move it over uh, and this time we're just gonna cut it in half like this and add our mirror modifier over here. Uh, there we go. Turn on clipping. Come back over here. Uh, what we're going to do is add three loop cuts like that. Okay. And again, with proportional editing on, uh, shrink it down. Just move them along the x axes like that. And then along the x axes like that. And just keep things looking sort of smooth if you know what I mean okay and without proportional editing on just create that bit at the end there okay now just gonna make it a bit bigger and along the y axis as well and maybe just add another loop cut in all of these places here just to get things looking a bit smoother uh, in terms of the, you know, the edge okay and also just gonna drag those in to make the point look a bit more well pointy okay so now I'm gonna add another loop cut and put it in the middle there and just you know put it there and then just uh, select these vertices uh, all the vertices apart from the two end ones and then just move it up like that to create sort of a ridge there where the vein of the leaf is okay and then just do the same with another loop cut just to keep it looking smooth and also we can play around with the geometry here at the end so just with these vertices just keep it looking like a leaf and then put a stem in at the end there um, okay and let's just play around with this keeping it looking you know like that okay so now we've got another complete leaf although again we're going to need to select the middle one uh, the, the middle row um, uh, while you're pressing O, uh, you know, to turn on proportional editing, uh, we can just move that up like that, and then move these d uh, end ones down a bit, rotate them like that, perhaps. Okay, and that just again simulates gravity acting on the leaf. 
Okay, now when we give it smooth shading, that's uh, all we're going to need. Again, I might just add a... Let's just get rid of this again. Might just add a subdivision surface onto the top like that, just to smooth it out. But the render's going to be set to 1, and might even just apply that. Uh, in fact, no, not yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to apply that yet. Okay, so with uh, this uh, stem here, we're going to give it that stem material that we made. Because uh, that's sort of like a, a material that can be applied to anything. Uh, okay, so now we're just going to rotate our leaf around and uh, make it smaller. Uh, in fact, actually no, uh, no, we're going to keep it about that size. And we're just going to place it here, really. Um, in fact, let's actually rotate it by 90 degrees again because I forgot to uh, unwrap this onto a texture. So let's add a new material, call this um, uh, leaf 3, are we on? I don't know. Uh, I've got big leaf, leaves, and, uh, okay, a big leaf 2. And big leaf 2, and let's actually also select big leaf, and set to big leaf 1, and then go back to big leaf 2. And this is just going to be set to a bright green like that. Uh, darker. There we go. Specularity can stay at 0.5 but the hardness can go up to 250 and because of course remember it is again a wet scene that we're making so specularity really helps in that department. Uh, oh also one thing that I forgot to do in the previous tutorial was to add a bump map to this leaf so uh, under the leaf thing the tick geometry uh, the normal it says to 0.2 and that way that would just uh, help bring out the specularity more realistically okay so now if we go back to over here right we're going to UV unwrap this again to a leaf texture so I'll go to our UV image editor uh, get rid of that and I'm going to open up uh, a new image it's going to be uh, textures plants and leaves again and yeah I got all this from the Nature Academy I'm not allowed to give you these textures but you can easily pick up textures from cgtextures.com uh, if you're wondering okay we're gonna go for coloredvibrant.png and you can see we've got this weird uh, thing happening here with the material so if we just press N and then tick pre-multiply that then goes okay so now we need to apply our mirror and then press U, project from view, and uh, now we can uh, scale this up so this sort of matches the leaf uh, thing. And what's really important is that the stem, oh, I've got proportion editing on, is that the stem uh, is matching up with the stem in this image, so just bring that in like that. And, okay. Yeah, you still want to have it so that the vein of the leaf is sort of matching up with this vein here. Like so. And this can be quite a fiddly task, but uh, in fact, yeah, let's not actually have all of these vertices sort of doing a team effort to get that looking right. I just want these uh, vertices here to be going up the main uh, vein of the leaf, so just move it up like that and like that, and that's roughly correct uh, you know, we don't have to go into too much detail and again, over from the materials, we're going to go to uh, add a new texture, it's going to be an image or movie, in this case it's going to be image obviously, and go to uh, oh, it already loaded in, so we can just click on this and go for coloredvibrant.png uh, filter size again to 0.1 and the geometry to 0.2 okay and I'm gonna call this big leaf 2 col meaning color alright and okay let's just put this onto our stem just get the origin point over there so to do that you just select the bit of the stem and press shift desk cursor to select it let's do it right there and then you press object transform origin to 3d cursor ok now I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees and just place it onto uh, that right there let's rotate it as well and just uh, with proportional editing just 
move all of this down like that. Oh, hang on. Yep, like that, and then rotate it round. Okay. Yeah, oh, this is a mess. Hang on. Right. Yeah, there we go. Something like that would do. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Um, in fact, that's a bit too much of a, a, you know, a curve. So let's just. Okay, let's just bring this up a bit. Oh dear. Hang on. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I mean. It's not the best, but it will work. Okay, and now we're just going to duplicate this, make a few everywhere, just down the stem, making sure that the stem, uh, the stem of the leaf, is actually into the uh, the stem of the plant, or whatever you want to call it. That I'm not good with nature terms. I just know how to make it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now what we can do is rotate these plants around remember they're all at sort of different levels in the plants so don't worry about any overlapping because well you just don't have to worry about that stuff okay so now that's just another completed plant just one of those random things in nature that you know I'm not even sure if there's a plant like this that exists but there probably is so that's a good enough reason for me to make it okay so now we're going to apply all of these uh, modifiers in fact not all actually help if we join up all the leaves to the stem, like that. And no, that's probably a bad idea. Okay, let's not apply these yet. Okay, that's about it. Okay, just join up all of the plants. Make sure they all have them. Yeah, okay. Uh, just hide the stem like that, and then select all the plants. Join them up. And that's not really worked. Okay. Select all the plants. Control J. They are now all joined. And apply. That's a sub uh, subsurface division, whatever it's called these days. I don't know; it keeps changing. Um, okay, so now that we've done that, we can just press Control J, and they are now part of this plant. So I don't know what we're going to call this, but let's call it a uh, big, uh, big leafy plant. Uh, uh, I can't type. There we go. Um, big leafy plant, and now again we can just create some variations by duplicating it, deleting some of these leaves, and rotating them around in different ways. Uh, ooh, where are we? Okay, uh, right, uh, yeah. Put the cursor again, uh, right here at the base, and then if we change the thing here from medium point to 3D cursor, then now when we select the leaf, like this, uh, it should rotate nicely round. So we don't have proportional editing turn on. It should just rotate nicely round the uh, the plant. Okay, and so we can rotate them. We can maybe I wouldn't recommend scaling them, but you could do that if you want. Uh, all, also, what we could do is uh, just move it up and make sure it lines up with the stem again, like that. So we can have some bunched up at the top and. Uh, some you know, down there, and also we can actually add another branch to this plant. So let's actually just duplicate this um, and just play around with the whole, uh, you know, the shape of the stem because that would be different. I should have done that with the other plant actually, but just as long as it's a bit different. And uh, where are we? Okay, just move that there. And what we can do is just get the leaves to line up with the plant itself. Uh, we're going to add another branch to this to make sort of a uh, more fully grown thing. Uh, so maybe actually we can uh, add another extrusion here and get another plant and uh, another leaf sorry and just put that at the top. And over uh, here with this here we're going to just duplicate this loop cut and extrude this out like that. You don't have to worry about any problems involving vertices, uh, that's fine. Uh, just change the pivot point to the median point, and that way we can just edit this nicely. Okay, and we'll get scaling in as we sort of get to the top. 
Uh, give it smooth shading, otherwise it will look funny. Smooth, there we go. Just drag that down, don't need this anymore. Okay. Uh, oh, and also this part of the stem seems to have taken the uh, leaf texture instead of the stem texture. Um, I was wondering why that was happening. So just go, uh, select it in edit mode, go to the material, select stem and press assign. Also I'm just going to scale in this loop cut that it sort of uh, spawned from like that just so there's no weird overlapping stuff happening. Okay, so now that we've got that extra branch we can get a leaf and rotate it round and put it onto that U branch, okay? That's just an extra variation you can make. It's probably too much effort put into something that's not very big, but oh well. The end result will look better for it, so it's, I guess it has to be worth the effort then. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can name these. So, what do we call it again? Uh, big Leafy Plant. Big Leafy Plant 2. And Big Leafy Plant 3. Uh, 3, there we go. And now, yeah, that's sort of what we've got. Uh, I might just actually rotate this round a bit and put it there because it's uh, looking a bit too similar in some places to the other plants. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, make sure that their origin points are at the base, otherwise it'll look funny. So, object, transform, origin to 3D cursor. And again, you know. Put 3D cursor at the bottom by selecting the vertices and pressing Shift S and choosing cursor to selected. Then object transform origin to 3D cursor, and same again here. And now we have even more plants to add to our little collection over here. And we're nearing the end of making the plants. Now there's only a few more we actually need to make. I mean. You know, you can stop making plants whenever you like, but you know, I personally think it, they look better when you uh, you have more than, you know, when you just have the... Basically, I think it looks better when you have... Uh, the more plants you make, then the better it will look in the end, because, you know, there'll be more variation. Okay, so now that we've done that, let me just scale this down a bit. Uh, also, in the leaf texture, leaf materials, we're going to add translucency of 0.7, and that should have happened to all of these, uh, all of the things with that material, there we go. And also for the plants we made in the last tutorial, uh, let's just do the same for that, okay. And now that should look, uh, you know, finished to an extent, so, uh, okay, so thanks for watching, uh, we'll carry on making plants in the next tutorial just you know there's just a few more plants you have to make like i said uh but you can carry on and make however many you like okay so uh thanks for watching uh i'll see you in the next tutorial